time for Sunday brunch and joining us this morning is our good friend Kyle Algaze from Iron Rooster. It is great to have you back in person. Feels good to be here. I've got uh, a bunch going on. I got a three pan pickup, so this is, should be interesting. We'll oh, is that what it's do. called? That's it's very called official. A three pan pickup. I got three pans working. So I love it. Hopefully, we're going to do some some cool stuff. Um, crab hash. All right. Ooh. Hashes are big now. We do yeah. a brisket hash as well. Ooh. I left that back at the restaurant, but I did bring you some crab hash, so I think nice. this will be fun. And the cool part about a hash is it can be anything. Yeah. You can throw stuff into a pan. Um, so we do a pretty cool crab hash. So I've got potatoes working. Okay. Right. And so we're gonna go ahead and you can smell the garlic. Mm -hmm. They can't smell it We've at home. We've been smelling it for a half an hour. Love it. Um, <laughs> we're gonna drop in some chopped asparagus. All right. Ooh. And then some roasted red pepper. Nice. And we'll leave a little bit to finish at the end as well. So we'll get that hot. And okay. then in the third pan, I've got some scrambled eggs working. All right. So hopefully we'll get. Those just about done and ready to is go. Is this part of your spring menu too? Yeah, so this is one of our, our most popular dishes. We've done crab hash for whew, three or four years wow. now. Mm. And yeah, it just flies off the, the menu. People love it and they love coming in to get it. It gives you kind of that Maryland feel, right? You get it crab, you, you get full everything. It's and warm. It I does. Say, I know what this is. Mm -hmm. This is bacon, but what's on the stick? Mm. So the cool part about our restaurant is that we've got bacon in just about every place you can think of. And we do a candied bacon. Mm. So bacon on a stick. Um, it's cayenne sugar, brown sugar. We roll it up uh, on a stick. We roll it into that brown sugar and cayenne mix. Then we bake it and then we crisp it up right at the end. So you'll see we get a chance here in just a couple of seconds, I think, to try some. And Everybody. you you can get free bacon sent right to your table, right? Yeah, you so still doing that? We still do free bacon. Um, it's a very popular item. Come in to check in on social media, mm -hmm. Twitter, Instagram, uh, TikTok at this point, you name it. And uh, we would just bring out a jar of free bacon for you. <laughs> right to you. Look, TikTok is your thing, so <laughs> free bacon is in free, there. Free bacon <laughs> is gonna happen. And look at all this crab meat. So we're gonna throw the crab in, mm -hmm. I'm gonna lo a little bit of lemon juice, mm -hmm. okay. just to kind of give it a little acidity to break down. And then Jen, if you wanna right. throw some crab. All right, through the whole thing or just part of just it? Just part of it, yeah, I know how, how <laughs> aggressive you can be with. <laughs> That's perfect. perfect. Perfect, perfect. It saves them for the, the line of people that are out That's waiting right. for us to, yeah. to eat. Um, so I've got that working, and then we'll let the crab heat up okay. just a minute. And then once that's all thing. finished, yep, I've got the eggs just about scrambled. All right. so I was going to say, I've heard of your restaurant, and I've heard about you for a long time now. And one thing that people constantly talk about are these giant Pop-Tarts. Yeah, so our roost tarts are world famous at this point. Mm. Um, we've got three new flavors that we're working right now. And then as we go into spring, we'll change them up again. Uh, we're doing Oreo, we're doing strawberry cheesecake, mm. we're doing blueberry. Uh, we always have the brown sugar, and we always have the mixed berry. So yeah. bigger than you remember as a kid. Yeah. Uh, and definitely something that you need to take home with you And as when well. you warm them up, oh man. They're good, right? So you warm oh. them up, maybe throw a little bit of ice cream on top for a dessert. That's right? a great right? Idea. Have it. it doesn't always have to be a breakfast item. You can eat it for dessert as well. So we're just about finished. This is almost that heated smells, up. Yeah, so good. The garlic, good, right? the lemon juice is in there, brightens it up, the it, crab meat. It does. I think that it's one of those dishes that you kind of get just about everything, mm -hmm. you know, from a and flavor perspective. with the asparagus, it makes it feel like spring, too, a little bit. It does. And get your veggies in. That's mm -hmm. a little yeah. bit. To, to <laughs> offset the bacon, I think, would be the, the, the idea. So that's done. And then we're going to hit that right on the plate there. Nice. And look at that. Yeah, that looks great. beautiful. We're going to top it with our scrambled eggs. Is that a real portion size, too? That is a real portion size. And then what? we're going to do a little, well, we're going to get there. We're going to hit okay. it with some asparagus. You know, I get excited about I the know aioli. you get to dress the aioli. <laughs> A little bit of the red pepper still left over, and then we'll also hit it with a little bit of Baltimore's finest. Yeah. Oh, well, of finest course, bring it on top. Mm. All right, now hit us All with right, some chipotle aioli. All right, yeah. This stuff is so good, too. Perfect. Look oh, at you yeah. drizzle that thing, Jane. Nice. You go, girl. Thank you, thank you. That's hey. probably the best you've ever done, I think. Oh, thank you. So <laughs> I'm learning. I can be taught. Listen, you guys have something big coming up for opening day, too. We do. We're teaming up with uh, Jimmy Seafood. They have a uh, big tailgate every single year. They do it for the Ravens game, and they're doing it for opening day with the Orioles. So we're happy and excited that they invited us to come down and do some of our food. There'll be other restaurants there. Of course, Jimmy's will be there to do their great thing. So, yeah, we're just excited to be a part of the community. And obviously, whenever Jimmy's calls, we say yes. Nice. And it's nice to see your restaurants packed again 
people are getting out, they're coming. I mean, we were at the Hunt Valley location not too long ago, and wow, it was hopping. Yeah, it's been great to see people coming back out. You know, the last couple of years in the restaurant business have always been difficult. Everybody yeah. knows that. Um, but it's it's awesome. You're seeing people out with their families, people that didn't get to see each other for a couple of years are finally coming out. It's going to be wedding season. We're going to have people out for bridal showers oh, and baby yeah. showers. Yeah. So it's just exciting to see people get back together with their friends and family. Well, you've got bacon on the stick.